Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick performance test with the iPad Pro 2020, the 12.9 inch model, against the MacBook Pro 2018, the 15 inch model. So let's get started. So let's start off by doing a boot up test and see which one's going to boot up first. Here we go, one, two, and three. I have to hold it on the iPad Pro for a little longer than the MacBook Pro, but uh, they are both uh, on the boot up screen. You can see the Apple logo. The MacBook Pro has a loading bar while the iPad Pro doesn't have that. And the iPad Pro also has a bigger Apple logo. Okay, there we go. The MacBook Pro is the winner here, but the iPad Pro was just a couple of seconds behind. Next, we're going to check how strong the Wi-Fi signals are. They both are connected to the same 5G network, and they're also connected to the same server. So we're going to start it off with the iPad Pro first. Um, I don't want them to interfere with each other. So here we go. Okay, it's looking like it's getting over 100 megabits per second at the moment, and I hope it can keep it up there. Uh, okay, it is uh, falling down. It looks like it's in the 70s, going up to 80s now, 84, 85. Okay, so we got 86 megabits per second down, and uh, in the upload, let's see, we're getting over 100 right now. Hopefully, this can also keep it up there, and it's looking good. Okay, we got 121 megabits per second up. Okay, now let's go ahead and test it out on the MacBook Pro. Here we go. All right, well, the scores are in, and it looks like the MacBook Pro beat the iPad Pro in the download speeds. You can see iPad Pro 86 down, MacBook Pro 101 down. But on the upload, the iPad Pro got 121 up, while the MacBook Pro got 116 up. Not bad, but the MacBook Pro definitely did better in the download speed. Next up is the CPU benchmark test on Geekbench 5, and this is going to measure the processor's single core and multi-core power for uh, checking emails, taking pictures, and playing music, or doing all of that at once. So I'll be back once the scores are in. So it looks like the iPad Pro finished up first. It was actually 10 seconds ahead of the MacBook Pro, but let's see what the scores are. For the single core score, the iPad Pro got a score of 1117, while the MacBook Pro got a single core score of 1011. Then for the multi-core score, iPad Pro got 4675, while the MacBook Pro got 5373. So the MacBook Pro scored higher in the multi-core score, while the iPad Pro scored just a little higher in the single core score. Now let's run a compute benchmark, and this is going to test the system's potential for gaming, image processing, and video editing. So it's pretty much going to test out the GPU. All right, this time it is the MacBook Pro that finished up the test faster. It was around nine seconds quicker than the iPad Pro. And uh, let's check out the scores. Well, the iPad Pro got a score of 9,876, while the MacBook Pro got a score of 10,357. Now I'm going to be launching a couple of games. The first game on the list is Asphalt 9. Here we go, one, two, and three. It looks like the iPad Pro looked like, oh, it's actually identical. I, I can't tell the difference. In terms of gameplay, they both look pretty good, but the iPad Pro does look much smoother than the iP MacBook Pro, thanks to the 120 hertz display. While the MacBook Pro, it almost looks kind of jittery. Before when I tested it out with the 2018 iPad Pro, the MacBook Pro ran this game really well, but right now it just doesn't look as smooth. The next game on the list is Fortnite. We're going to test out how fast they're going to launch the apps and load it up. This is a more graphically intense game and it's uh, online based, so it's going to take a little longer than Asphalt 9. So let's see what happens. They're looking very close. The iPad Pro is going to be the one that's going to load up the game faster. And then we're here waiting for the MacBook Pro. Okay, there it is. All right, now let's jump into a battle and see how these are going to perform. So I, I guess I'll just show you this whole process of uh, us jumping inside the game and waiting for the game to load up.
Okay, well, it looks like we're in the lobby on the iPad Pro and we're just waiting on the MacBook Pro for some reason. It's taking so long. It shouldn't really take this long. We're already on the bus about to jump into battle while the MacBook Pro, it's still on the loading screen. Just as I was about to quit the game, the MacBook Pro decided to not even load up the lobby and just have me straight up skydiving to the uh, island. So far, the MacBook Pro is running the game quite well. It's smooth. I haven't noticed any lags. Spinning around, everything looks good. Smooth gameplay, no complaints. And same goes for the iPad Pro. The gameplay smooth. I, I noticed that I was blocking the camera, but yeah, they both are running it in a very smooth manner like i can't tell the difference between the two really the next test i'm going to be running is called basemark web 3.0 and this is a benchmark that tests how well your mobile device or your desktop system can use web-based applications the scores are in and it's kind of crazy the ipad pro got a score of 809.73 while the macbook pro got a score of 622.93 so just for comparison's sake, on the previous video I did with the 2018 iPad Pro, that got a score of 670.2. So that's a pretty big jump from the 2018 iPad Pro. Alright guys, the last test we're going to be doing is exporting a video from iMovie. It's a 4K video and the size of the video is 3.64 gigabytes. The exporting process has begun and I will be back. While you're waiting, if you're enjoying this video, uh, leave a like or comment. Even, or even subscribe if you want to see more videos because it would really help out this channel and uh, I really appreciate you still watching this video. We're already like seven minutes in the video so the last test is almost over. And the winner is the 2020 iPad Pro. The MacBook Pro is still loading. I'm going to leave a stopwatch here so you guys know how late it was to the game. I was not expecting this, but at the same time, I'm not really surprised that the fact that the iPad Pro was a little faster, well, two minutes faster than the MacBook Pro. But yeah, now, now you know.